In the previous lesson, we built this food pyramid with an animation. Now I'm going to show you how to click on a button and have an animation play only when a button is pressed. So let's return back to InDesign. In the previous lesson, I moved these items off to the pasteboard. So now I'll select them and pull them back onto the page. I'll hit the W key to hide the frame edges, and then I'll fit the page into the window. To animate these items, I'm going to first select them, choose the animation panel. You'll notice that it's already named Servings Group, and that's because in my Layers panel, I've already named it, which is a really helpful thing to know. I'm going to choose a preset of Fly In From Right. Now, close my animation panel, and you'll see that a little green line shows up, showing me where it's going to start and where the animation is going to end. So let me play this and see what happens. And the animation will start playing for the food pyramid. And immediately after the food pyramid is finished, that little animation for the circles begins to play. I don't want it to play right away. I want it to wait until I click on this button on the page. All right, so we're going to select this animation, go to the animation panel. And we talked about this button a little earlier, but this is called the Create Trigger button. It tells me exactly what to do. It says click the icon and then click an object to trigger this animation. I'll click the Create Trigger button and then click on the object on my page that will be the button to trigger the animation. It will automatically open the Buttons and Forms panel where I can set the options for this button. You'll see that the action has already been assigned to be Animation, and it shows the name of the animation, Servings Group, in parentheses. It also has the option set to play the animation. So let's go check out and see what happens. I'll play this animation. You'll see that the food pyramid will build. We are hoping that we have to click on that little red button at the bottom to make the animation play, but it automatically played. We didn't have a chance to press the button. But if I come over to the button and press it again, the animation will play again. So why is this happening? I'll select the object and go to the animation panel. When I take a closer look at the event, we'll notice that there are two events happening on page load and on button event. Unfortunately, when you click this little trigger button over here to the right, it doesn't take away the on page load, it stays. So we need to remove the on page load so the button is the only thing that triggers the animation. So let's check it out one more time and play, and you'll see that the food pyramid will again build, and the little circles will wait until I press the button how many servings should I have in a day? And you see it has not played yet. I'll move over the button and press, and here plays the animation. Now the animation is coming in straight from the right side. I'd kind of like to see this coming in from the corner. So this little green line is showing me the motion path, and it tells me to click to edit it. Now when I click and edit it, I can only change the length of it when I have my selection tool active. If I flip over here to my direct selection tool, I'm able to grab the end point and move that end point to change the length as well as the angle. So I'm going to put that motion path way up here to the top right corner. I'll return back to my selection tool, reselect my circles, and you'll see that my green line is now changed to come from the top right corner. I'm going to show you one more thing in this animation panel. There's an excellent little box at the bottom called Show Animation Proxy. When I turn on the Show Animation Proxy, you'll see, I'll move my page here a little bit, that there is a little gray bunch of circles that shows me that those circles definitely start off of the page. Sometimes animations that start a little bit on the page don't look quite right. So I want to make sure that that animation does truly start off of the page. I'll come back to fit in window and let's play the animation again. So again, my food pyramid is going to build and the circles animation is not going to play until I press this button. And you'll see now that it comes in from the top right corner. One last thing, we're going to go back to the animation panel and we're going to make this happen a little bit slower. It's happening at a duration of one second. I'd like to make this two. So let's play this one more time. There's the first two, the second two, and the last one. And you'll notice that I have to roll over this, click on it, and the animation plays a little bit slower this time. So you can set up an animation with a custom motion path from anywhere on your page or even starting off of the page and set up a button that will trigger that animation. 